so it's verse 14 says afterwards jesus findeth him in the temple and saith to him behold thou art made well sin no more lest some worse thing happen to thee Mm -hmm. so even within saint john's gospel we see an example of the the correlation between sin and temporal punishment and potentially eternal punishment so father martin is i hope it's not deliberate but at this point it's getting hard to think that it's not regardless of what his motives are he is misleading people in a very serious manner yeah, he's a heretic he's a heretic let's just say it he's a heretic yeah he he when it comes to sodomy uh when it comes to the divinity of christ and christ that's self something knowledge, else that he right he he says you know christ was just like a little just like a teenager doesn't know who he wants to be. What's he going to be when he grows up? Why did God make me? He's just sort of in angst trying to figure out his divine mission. And, yep. you know, it's this stupid Jesuit Christology, which is heretical, that Christ is completely ignorant of who he is, which is obviously not the case in the gospel. Not the case in yesterday's gospel when he said he knew what he would do. Right. Like exactly. he brought up. Uh, it's this false Jesuit theology and maybe francis believes it you know in the scalfari interview he had this idea that you know christ didn't really become god until the the crucifixion and resurrection that's this that's because they believe jesus didn't fully understand who he was as the son of god until he was on the cross and he was like my god my god why have you forsaken me i now realize it i'm the son of god and then he dies and then he rises again and rise here for Jesuits can mean a variety of things besides he's present in the love of the community. Yes, and then the love <laughs> of the community, sort of the that divineness of Jesus and his love and his teaching lives on and rises again in our hearts every year when we, <laughs> you know, put lilies in church. It's uh, yeah, yeah. a feminine, fake, bogus Christianity. It's not salvific. It's a lie. It'll lead you to hell. That's the message of Slim Jim. 